Hello students, welcome back to my class. So, let us move on to the grammar and vocabulary part of the 6th unit. In the last class, we have completed the story of the air reading. So, let us continue the grammar and vocabulary part of the same lesson. So, the first objective type is the read the following sentences and complete the choosing appropriate option. Chinna wanted to give the tinkling bells too. So, these are the choose the correct words that you have to write the correct option. So, three options are given. Wanted to give the tingling bells to whom? To his pet dog, his mother, grandfather. So, the first is his pet dog. Second one is Chinna was shocked because he is because his money was missing, Chacha did not give bells, he did not bring money. What was the reason that he was very shocked? Because his money was missing. So, the third one is we must be dash with our money. We must be careful with our money. Fourth one, the fruit seller gave dash extra. So, how many rupees did the fruit seller has given to Chinna? 10 rupees. 10 rupees. So, the fifth one is, at the end, Chinna ran to the fruit seller. So, at the end of the story, what did the Chinna did? To ask for more fruits, to buy more fruits, to give money, to give back extra money. So, the right answer is to give back extra money. To give back extra money. Students, so these are the right options. All of you just tick down in your readers. So, without any delay, let us move to the next bit. So, the next part is the vocabulary. Okay, let us first read out the heading. The fruit seller gave 10 rupees extra. Chinna's mother said it is like stealing to take extra money. Taking extra money is completely incorrect. What things do you feel are incorrect? Add some more expressions. So, these are the blanks here given here. So, we have to write what are the other things which are incorrect. The example given here is the cheating is incorrect, using bad words is incorrect. So, what else we can add the things which are incorrect are not obeying to your parents is incorrect. Yes, all of you start writing this. Not obeying to your parents is also incorrect. Waking up, waking up late in the morning, in the morning is incorrect. And what else you can say? We have to write these sentences from our own. Yes. So, what else we can write is incorrect is telling lies. Yes. Telling lies is incorrect. Fourth one is not coming to school daily is incorrect. Remaining fifth is your homework. Write from your own what else things is incorrect in your what we can say in your way. Okay? Four I have mentioned, copy down these uh, sentences and 
how many are remaining one or two are remaining is your homework write from your own what else you think that the things are incorrect from your point of view okay so all of you note down this let's move to the another okay. bit so the next bit it write the plural form of the following write the plurals of the following here the words are given which adding s and es so add s and add es to the following words like market markets only we can add the s which is very easy next one is potato so what is the plural form of the potato potatoes t o we have to add e s potatoes second singular word is shop plural of shop is shops and the pl bus plural of bus is buses so these are very simple you can write by your own remaining 4 5 6 is your homework third one is shirt shirts and the what is the uh, singular word for es is box box boxes you have to write es for these words and only s for these words this is a slightly different between singular and plural some words are usually depend on a s some words usually need es for plural words so these are very easy remaining four five and six is your homework and what else is given add few more examples to the above list write in your notebook so you can write some more examples of your own in your notebook so let's move on to the grammar part so in grammar what we are going to learn about the part of speech is nothing but the conjunction yes conjunction so the topic which we are going to learn about the conjunction so what is the definition of the conjunction is adding two words Yes, adding two words to form a sentence are nothing but the, to combine the sentence are called as conjunctions. So, what are those examples and how it is given in your textbook? Let us see. Okay. Words which are used to combine sentences are called as conjunctions. Words which are words which are used to combine sentences to combine sentences are called so students just first uh, read out the definition then we will understand what uh, do you mean by conjunction then we will move to the activity part words which are used to combine sentences if the two sentences are given and we have to combine that two sentences and make a one sentences are called as conjunction so what are those words which are used to combine the sentences are and but so or so these are the uh, what we can say few examples which are used to combine two sentences and form a one sentence so when we are doing the activity part you will understand how the two sentences are going to combine and form a one sentence by using these examples so uh, words which are used to combine the sentences and form a one sentence are nothing but the conjunctions so these words are used to form a one sentence so let's move to the activity part so that it's going to be uh, what we can say uh, that so that you can understand in a better way 
so the activity here given is the heading combine the following using and but etc so using these two conjunctions we have to form combine the sentences which are given here so the first example is ramu took out his book ramu did not write anything so these are two sentences and we have to form one sentences by combining these two sentences so how we can combine the example is ramu took out his book but did not write anything so what is the word which are combining these two sentences is nothing but the but it is called as conjunction so using this conjunctions the two sentences are going to combine and going at the result in the end they are going to form a one sentence so these words are called conjunctions i hope it is clear to everyone let's move to the next sentence vimala likes singing vimala likes dancing these two sentences are given so using this two sentence we have to combine these two sentence and form a one sentence so what are the conjunctions that we are going to use to form a one sentence and but whatever the sentences is necessary whatever these two jo bhi uh, whatever we can use and and but depending upon the sentence necessity so the first one is vimla likes singing vimla likes dancing vimla likes singing the conjunction which we are using is and vimla likes dancing so in this way we have combined these two sentences by using the conjunction and second sentence is raju ran raju ran fast in the race raju lost the race so these two sentences are given raju ran fast in the race raju lost the race so we are going to write in this way raju ran fast in the race but raju lost the race but raju lost the race so these two sentences have become a one by using the conjunction but third one is i will go to the temple first i will then go to my grandpa's house so the two sentences are given going to the temple first then go to my grandpa's house so we have to write i will go to the temple first and then and then i will go to my grandpa's house so i hope it is clear to everyone how we are using the words and and but to form these sentences why because in the readers these two sentences are given in two two ways two sentences were there in the reader and we have combined this sentence by using this conjunction and form a one sentence so in this way i have completed the three remaining four and five is your homework try by your own by using this conjunction form the combine the sentences and form the one final sentence so remaining one fourth is your homework only one last is given in this way we have completed the vocabulary and grammar part of the sixth a reading which is the name of the lesson is the honesty so revise this grammar and vocabulary part the new part which we have learned today in the grammar is the a new part of speech which is nothing but the 
conjunction. So, what is the definition of the conjunction and what are the new new examples are there try by your own find out by your own and write the new examples of the conjunction. It is a very important to understand and make out the sentences by using these parts of speech like uh, already we have discussed each and everything noun, pronoun, verb, adverb. Now we have learned about the conjunction. Just make out the new new sentences and learn the definition which I have explained just now on the board with the examples. And the activity we have also done is using the sentences and combining them we have form these sentences by using the conjunctions. So, this is also a very nice activity which we have done to understand the examples of the conjunctions, how these examples are going to be used in the sentence and forming a one particular sentence. So, in this way we have completed the vocabulary and the grammar part also. In the next class we are going to start the B reading of this 6 unit. Till then take care of yourself. Thank you.